All right, here we are, ready to put the calipers for the shadow back together. 83 Honda Shadow shared with, I don't know, 83, 84, 85, 86, I believe, are similar. Uh, I just took steel wool, got ripped up pretty good. These springs actually clean up pretty good. I've never really had a problem cleaning up springs. It's aluminum, so it doesn't really get... I guess it could get corroded if it was so bad, but they usually always clean up pretty good. What I did here, remember I had four calipers and I'm getting the best parts put together for these two. There's the other two that lost pretty much all their paint. <coughs> Excuse me, I think I just inhaled some <coughs> steel wool. Okay. So anyway, new parts from Brake Crafters. We get new seals, dust seals, and pressure seals. We get a new um, bleeder screw, which is good because let me show you the bleeder screws that came off of these guys. They need a little bit more work if you're going to clean them up and use them. Uh, <laughs> there's a couple more. I'm sure we could use them again, but there'll be extras around here. I don't like to throw anything away. You can buy parts like the pistons. But again, these usually clean up pretty good. Make sure the outsides are smooth so they slide in the pit in the seals. Um, then we have the bolts that hold the pins in. So yeah, I'm kind of picking. I didn't clean these up, but you can see how good these cleaned up. So I'm getting a set ready for these two to rebuild. Uh, yeah, springs all cleaned up pretty good, and the housings are all clean and dry. They've been dry for quite a while, so I think we're going to have a pretty good success putting these back together. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't know. This bolt, I think this is a mounting bolt. It was with my stuff, and I, I don't know. The other thing we need to clean up, I think I did, I don't know. This is a slide. And as I put these back together, I've done so many different ones. I gotta make sure they're all clean. I'm not, I'm gonna wipe them down. But I'm not going to take steel wool because it looks like they're painted. So I'm just gonna wipe them down and make sure they're smooth. Basically, they're gonna get some grease. So they slide within the boot. I think that goes in here, maybe. When we put it back on the bike. So basically, we'll put the piston seals in first. And uh, I've always been under the assumption that there is a way, a right and a wrong way to put the piston pressure seal in. And uh, watching a brake crafters video, they told me there isn't. The bevel, which makes the inner side higher, so it scrapes the brake fluid, keeps it from getting out, and then kind of pulls the piston back in. So apparently, that's worked cut into the piston itself because I was curious and the last piston or the last brake caliper I already built I could not for the life of me find the higher side on the new pistons you flip it around it felt high on one side flip it around the other way and then it felt high on the other side so I could not figure it out so I went and I was going to call them but I found a video that said that it was cut into the piston so apparently it's in here Tell me what your guys' uh, ideas are on that. I'm only learning this now. And the other thing is I tried to use some of this red rubber grease, they call it. I tried to use that on my slides and I did not like it. So I just, instead of using that, I switched back to my, uh, what is it? Lithium, white lithium grease. And I've always liked this stuff and it works good. So I went back to this and uh, in that same video that they talked about the pistons, there's a reassembly video for a caliper. They talked about the piston seals being the same either way. They also talked about the red rubber grease. This is not grease you're supposed to use on the slides. Apparently this is grease you're supposed to grease your uh, piston seals up with that they slide in better and uh, basically assembly grease and makes the rubber last longer. I don't know about that. I always just put some brake 
fluid on the inside and slide my pistons in. I know brake fluid is detrimental to rubber. So maybe they have an idea. Maybe they're smart here. But you're supposed to slather these up with the red rubber grease. Didn't know that. So I haven't used it correctly. And uh, no wonder it wasn't working for my slides. So anyway, going to put these piston seals in. I'm going to try and find a high side. But if there isn't, I guess they just go in there and they work. So I'm um, going to have to reassemble these. Like I said, all these slides. Let's see. I don't even know how this goes in. But I'll figure it out. I think it just goes in one way. Oh, there's a little notch there. So it looks like that would be the way that fit in. So put this in. I like to put just a little bit of grease on these. You really don't have to. So we either use, I used silicone lubricant on the last one. I sprayed it in on there. And uh, either that or I put a little bit of grease on there. Not that you have to, but that's what I like to do. Oh, I never cleaned up my pads. They're still filthy. So I guess these need scrubbed. And uh, I do need to deglaze at least one set of them. Look at that. That's filthy. So my pads need cleaned up because I'm not putting dirty pads in on all my clean stuff here. So let's crack this open and get to work. All right. Open up the Brake Crafters kit. With one hand is not easy. Should have done this off camera, so there we go. So get our piston seals out here. You're gonna notice the thicker one is your pressure seal. And like I said, they do not look like, yeah, it feels the same either way. So Brake Crafters knows what they're doing. So this is gonna drop right down in here. Make sure you don't pinch it in any way. Drop it down in the clean groove. Make sure the groove's clean or this will not sit in properly. So I'm gonna do that. I like to get one edge started. Cause yeah, they're fit in, fitted in there perfectly. So you wanna make sure that, there you go. Just feed it right around. I'm only doing this with one hand. You shouldn't have to do it with one hand. So just be careful with it. Look, there's a little bit of dirt. <laughs> Don't need dirt in there but you don't want it to twist in there. Make sure it's laying perfectly. I'm gonna have to use my other hand and do this right. So there, nope, nope, not yet. Don't pinch it, there we go. Now she's all lying in there perfectly nice, smooth. It's built for this piston guys, so, or it's built for this caliper. All right, and then your dust seal, same thing. They are thinner and a little bit, see that little lip? I don't know why they're built differently, but that's how they are. Again, don't pinch it. Fit it into one spot on the caliper first, and then it'll easily drop into place. Again, don't force it. If you're forcing it, there's probably dirt in there or something wrong and you should address that first, but make sure that you don't twist it. That's the biggest thing. Ugh. Again, make sure it's not twisted and it's fitting in there correctly. If, if it doesn't fit in there correctly, you probably have dirt. So I'd clean it out with a pick or something. Ah, we're back out. All right, I'm gonna get that in and put this side in Oh, I didn't use the red rubber grease. I'll give it a shot. Well, I used the rubber grease and I did have to pick. I thought it wasn't fitting quite right uh, up in the top here. I think it just sits in there in the very edge. So I think we're good. I did scrape out a little bit and something came out. Can't really see in there that well. So I think we're all cleaned out. Uh, the red rubber grease, it's it's sticky. And uh, you can use their, their case here to keep them clean. Um, I don't think you want to overdo it, so I think I want to wipe some of this off. And there's a piece sticking to that. See, I don't like to put anything in that's sticky. So I don't know. I trust you guys there at Brake Crafters. 
So I'm going to use it on this one. Um, but brake fluid just seems to work. And uh, I don't know. I'm going to try it. Hopefully, worst case scenario, doesn't work. I don't think it would draw dirt. Like, that's my main concern. I don't want anything sticky that's going to pull dirt in there. But I guess once your piston's in, you shouldn't be getting dirt in there anyway. But anyway, we'll see how it slides in with this stuff. They claim that's the way to do it. But us old school guys, we're putting brake fluid in there. So anyway, I'm going to install these and we'll push the pistons in. All right, those two slid in just fine, real easily. So uh, here we go. Let's see about our pistons. See if this uh, is better than brake fluid. All right, well, it's got to go right down the center here. Make sure you don't roll your your seals. Ooh, slide in. Got to fit in there. Come on, buddy. Ooh. Kind of, kind of twisted a little bit. I don't know. Shouldn't be hard. Let's just slide right in. Here we go. Mm, give it a little bit of pressure. I don't know. It's not sliding. Which either means my seals aren't set correctly in there, or I should use brake fluid after all. Boy, that's not sliding at all. I guess, I think we're started. We're in there. Okay, we're in there, I think. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm used to brake fluid. I guess, I guess that's right. Just don't want to, I think we're past the dust seal. Yeah, it's not slipping in like I'm used to. Ugh. You want to do it. Make sure you're going straight down. Oh, I didn't put any on the piston. That might actually help. I think they wanted me to put some on the piston. I'll pull it out. Let's try again. Well, they say it's hard to teach a new, an old dog new tricks. But I put some on the piston. Let's see how it goes this time. They're both ready to go down. <laughs> it's still hard to do. Why? Why? What is happening? Oh, this one. It's hard to get past the pressure seal. I don't know, guys. This shouldn't be hard. I feel like I shouldn't be having trouble. Uh, I'm going to put a little force on it. This makes me nervous, though. Maybe I should use my brake fluid, but now they're slathered with all this stuff. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Oh, that one went. There it goes. There it goes. It's, like I said, it's sticky. It's not like brake fluid. It's not lubricant. It's, I don't know what it is. But if that one went, this one shouldn't be far behind. Oh my gosh. So I'm not going to, you guys can try this. I don't think I'm going to use it on the other one just because I am not sure about it. We'll know if one locks up and the other doesn't that. There we go. I mean, it moves smooth, but there you can see, I don't know. We'll give it some time. And if these function properly, then I guess it's fine. But makes me nervous, so I'm not going to use it on the other one. Let's go ahead and put that together. We'll see if uh, brake fluid actually uh, works like it always has. What, is, what side is this? I'll have to mark which one I used brake fluid on and which one I used the red rubber grease on. So, uh, yeah. Old school here. Those seals popped in just like normal. No problems. Uh, I put a little bit of brake fluid around the outside of the pistons. Started them. Let's see how we do. These are pretty tight pistons. So whether it's better or worse. Oh, there we go. Smooth. Smooth, easy. Once you get past that pressure seal. 
And this one, oh, <laughs> this is maybe my left hand. My left hand's actually my weak hand. So maybe that's the problem. Uh, let's push in the, let's push on the edge here. <laughs> She's not going. All right, so maybe my experience isn't that bad with these, with the red grease. Maybe I'm just weak today. I can't get a good grip on this thing. Here, let me switch hands. Maybe my right hand will do better. Um, as long as we're started, we should be able to push past. Mm. Push past the pressure seal. Just give it a little bit of movement. Goodness. Well, I guess my experience is the same using the red rubber grease or this one. Anyway, I'm going to push this in somehow. Okay, well, pistons are in, springs are both in. I like this grease. Again, white lithium grease. Uh, let's say, repels water, resists heat, prevents wear. We like all that stuff. So, I like about this bottle is I can just squeeze it right in there. Put a little bit of in there. Like I said, I want to put that in there before we get the seals on there. And then I'll probably put a little bit in there. You do not want to get it stacked up on the end. Because when your slide goes in, it has nowhere to go. Because this stuff isn't going to compress. So you might want to smooth a little bit in there. I don't know. I feel like I have something in there. A little bit of dirt. I want to get out before I put anything in. Um, but maybe just put a little bit right on the edge. So as your slide goes in, like kind of on the walls, if possible, or do what you should do and just put it on the slide. This guy, just put it on the edges of this. Oh, that's just dirt. Great. So yeah, clean these guys up, put it all over the edges here, just a light coating. You don't need a lot, just has to reduce friction going in and out. So slide needs cleaned. And I will also put a little bit on this slide on the edges. Don't need to put it on the end because guess what? That's gonna be out. It's gonna be sitting like this. So it's not gonna matter. All right, here we go. Ooh, I just popped this one in. That actually looks like part of it. Basically, just go ahead. Well, this one's, this one's different. I guess this is the one that goes here. Are they different or just manufactured differently? I'll have to look at my other, that's weird. I'll have to look at my other kit, see if I have three different, two different ones. Yeah, that one has, two of the same and one different. Okay, so I guess I already used this one here and makes sense to put the one that looks like it on the other side. So pretty much one of your edges has this little groove and you're just going to kind of pop that around, pop it in that groove, seat it in one side and work its way around. It's hard with one hand, so I won't be able to show you, but you just want that to sit. Did I get it? Not quite. There's your groove. You want to pop that into the groove that sits in there. And I did put grease in there already. Make your own decision. You probably only really need the grease on your slide, but all right, so that's sitting in there. Now I feel the hardest part about this whole thing is getting this guy in. Because first of all, you got to get him through this boot Oh, I need to grease this. Got to get them through this boot and line it up enough that it gets through this boot without pushing this boot off the end. So maybe, I don't know. I obviously can't show you that. That's taking me hours sometimes. So if you have any input, see it gets stuck on this groove first. So it's really hard. So I'm going to grease this up and try and get it through. I'm not going to video it, 
because it could take forever and you don't want to see that. So it's got to go through here. And remember, this larger collar here, this larger end, that needs to be on the inside. I'm not sure if it matters, but that's how all mine were set up. And it goes in on the inside. I just had to take a minute to just breathe because this just slid in there perfectly. Not a single issue whatsoever. Maybe the last time I had problems with this, it wasn't on a shadow. I don't remember what it was on, but uh, maybe Brake Crafters has better parts than whatever I was using. Maybe it was k &L. I don't know, but I remember having such trouble. Uh, maybe I just greased it better and maybe I know what I'm doing now. So anyway, slid in here. As you saw, I'll show you in here. There's like a, a lip here and a lip here. That's where the end of your boot sits. So as long as you keep this straight and work it through straight, I didn't have any issues. So popped it straight through here. This end did get stuck on the uh, groove for this side, but once I slid it past, lined it up in there and it slid right through, everything's greased in there. Same thing on this end. Once I got it to here, I was careful to keep it straight and uh, it slid right past. And then I just kind of worked the boot around into the groove. So she's good, she's free and definitely sliding perfectly. So I'm happy with that. Next up, let's pop this guy on. Cleaned up all the brake pads. All right, having all these guys cleaned up, they look beautiful. My goodness, tell you what, they were filthy. I had to use brake cleaner to cut through the filth. Now they look really good. So we're going to etch out this little slot. Get any dirt out that's stuck in them. This one's the worst. See, you can hardly see that, but we'll take a little screwdriver and actually be cool to match these up. See which ones. I'm going to pick my favorite ones. I'm going to take sandpaper over the surface and uh, make sure they're not glazed. I don't know which ones I had on when this problem happened, but uh, yeah, we're gonna pick the four best ones. Then I can install them on the calipers. Cleaned out the groove. Now we're just gonna sandpaper over the surface. I don't know if it's working. What is this, 100? Yep. Wow, it's hard to do it. Just sitting on there but grab some sandpaper and just go over the edge the surface make sure it's not glazed trying to pick my favorite pads here and i think i matched them up as to what which one goes to which one and it's interesting to show usually the piston side is the thicker side usually it looks like the piston side is the thicker side uh, so I'm going to pick two of these. They're all the same. Every single one of them. So you can mix and match. No big deal. So I'm going to take the four fattest ones. These two look like a good pair. Definitely this one's good. They look like a good pair. This one's thicker on this side, but they look like a good pair. These are the thinnest ones. Thinnest ones there. So they're probably out. I think... These are the ones from the good calipers. Those are the ones from the junkier calipers. So I think we're gonna go with these two and these two. All right, so our pistons go in like this. Spring's already installed. I'm probably gonna try a little bit of silicone lubricant or the white lithium grease. I pretty much like the silicone lubricant for the springs. So I'll probably spray a little bit of that in there and uh, lube up our uh, rod here, our pin, if you will. And then that goes right down through here, through here, through the body, through the pads, and on the other side, then this retaining clip locks down and we take one of our bolts and drive a 10 millimeter bolt in there and that holds the pads in place. Pins are through, so we drop this, whatever you want to call it, retaining clip or whatever. That 
sits down in that groove. And as I said, drop a 10 millimeter bolt right on there. And that'll hold them in place so your pads don't go anywhere. Lock that down. Next step, the last thing we need to do, I'll show you these guys quick. Hopefully everything slides good. Uh, for most of you, you might buy new pads, buy new everything, and just put new stuff together. So you don't have to worry about dirt and grime and worn out things. So your rotor's going to go right in there. Rotor's going to go right in there. Hopefully everybody's sliding free and clear. Last thing I need to do, pop this dust cover, this sucker right in the edge here. I'll do that. I'll do that off camera. We get that ridge just like the other ones we did. See, that's holding strong, looking good. Back and forth, no problems there. So this pops in there. We'll grease this after I cleaned it up. Grease this slide up. That goes through the dust cover into there. And uh, I'll show you when it's done. And all right, so that guy's installed. Now all we need to do is carefully Take our grease slide. This is the mount for the bike. And uh, looks like it's actually quite open. Oh, that fits over this. All right, so there. So this is pretty easy to install at this point. So you just slide that down in and then pick your boot up around that. So make sure you lift your boot up around this edge. And that's it for that. And then, yeah, I forgot to say something, but you know, you want to put your bleeder nipple, make sure you put your dust cover on, put your brand new bleeder nipple down into the appropriate hole, tighten it down, torque it, and then short of installing on the bike and using the new, well, I don't have a new banjo bolt, put your banjo bolt on there, make sure you have your crush washers ready to go. This thing is going to be ready and happy uh, it doesn't seem to be screwing down maybe it is down the whole way i don't know i'll tighten it with the wrench and we'll be good to go so i'll see you guys on the next one there's your fully rebuilt caliper have a great day get out and ride